Think you have what it takes to bust a myth? The search is on for the next generation of science superstars. Mythbusters The Search is hosted by Mythbusters fan and science editor at Nerdist.com, Kyle Hill, and he joins us now. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning. Thanks <laughs> hey, so much for having me. My tongue was getting a little bit tied there, all of the myth busting uh, going on here. It's very hard to say. <laughs> well, several times in a row, that's for sure. So what's the concept of this new show? So, I mean, like you said, I'm a Mythbusters super fan, and like most fans, uh, I was, you know, it, it, was, it was sad to see such an institution uh, of good science communication on TV go away as the original host went on to do other projects. The idea of this, though, is to continue that legacy. For me, as a professional science communicator, I need to have some good science on TV, and that was Mythbusters to me when I was mm -hmm. growing up. So this show is a competition show to find people who can have that special something the to continue on the Mythbusters legacy. Those people that show that they have the build skills and the science smarts and Quite they're good on camera days, and they can communicate they in a fun and effective way mm -hmm. will make it to the end of the show and then the hopefully some of them will become the next generation of Mythbusters. It's something that I, th I believe in and I think it's what the Science Channel really wants to do as well. Uh huh. Mythbusters debuted on TV in 2003. It's hard to imagine because I remember, yeah. you know, thinking back it doesn't seem that long ago but I'm wondering about how that show influenced interest in science both what you've seen through the search and then for you personally oh yeah sure I mean I, I, if you had the data I'm sure it would be an appreciable percentage of people who go into scientific careers like Mythbusters. It was kind of like Star Trek uh, mm -hmm. when Star Trek first came out in the 60s and 70s. There are, you go into NASA, you ask most people what sci-fi shows they like, it's Star Trek. Mm -hmm. I, I would argue that if you went into the same labs and, engin and you know, uh, engineering facilities today, you're like, what, what's your, what was your favorite science show? A lot of them would say Mythbusters. Mm -hmm. The same was true for me. Uh, Mythbusters uh, 2003, I, I, was a, I was a youngin' and I was determining what I wanted to do with my life. Mythbusters uh, made me want to go into engineering almost directly out of high school and then from, that, uh, from then on, I also realized that I prefer trying to make science fun and accessible mm -hmm. and interesting for people just like the Mythbusters did. So then I went into professional communication and I th there is a percentage that can be attributed to Mythbusters for mm -hmm. me. What My we, hope uh -huh. is that you Mythbusters will always have a continuing legacy, the original series. Mm -hmm. My hope is that this new series uh, can introduce the fans to, to people who can carry on the legacy and do something new and something great. I said uh, Star Trek earlier, this is, in my mind, it's like the next generation. Everyone loves Kirk and Spock, like Adam and Jamie, uh -huh. but now people love Picard and Riker too. Uh -huh. Hopefully these contestants can become a Picard or a Riker, and then in season two someone could grow a beard and it'll be great. <laughs> uh, we have less than a minute, Kyle. Give us an example of what we see on Mythbusters The Search. What kinds of, I don't know, like harebrained sorts of projects do you have these folks working on? Sure. Uh, so we're, we have something for everyone. We have old myths that could be improved upon, like painting. Can you paint a room by putting a piece of dynamite in some paint? Uh -huh. Can you find a needle in a haystack in less than six hours? That's the competition. <laughs> and we're doing stuff with exploding water heaters, which is a fan favorite that I'm not going to spoil for you, but you've never seen it do this kind of thing before, and uh, Buster doesn't end up so well after that. <laughs> Mythbusters The Search, that's a great tease, uh, premieres on Saturday at 8 Central on Science Channel. Thank you, Kyle. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. And tomorrow, the coolest...